Oh, absolutely. That's the book. I mean, we, 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 uh, I live in Colorado Springs. That's the headquarter of Fort Carson. And that's sort of the headquarter of where we send soldiers to Iraq and Afghanistan. And they come back with these brain injuries. All right. And we work with these brain injuries. We work with, with people that can barely do anything. They come back. We train them. And a more recent one, after after three years back, getting no improvement, went through our program, could not do simple math. When we took him on, uh, about nine months later, he was back at the university level taking calculus. All right, so that's in brain injury. We've had people in motorcycle accidents go through this where they, they couldn't function and we trained them. I mean, the physical therapists, occupational therapists, they do what they could, then we came in and did the cognitive training, and now they're functioning almost like a normal person. Not quite, but almost like everybody else. So there's a whole wide range of people. Regarding testing, yes, we give a test named after me, thank you, called the Gibson test here in Singapore, that probes those, those seven areas I talked about, but that's the test. But we also give a questionnaire that probes the symptoms that you might see that responds to the same seven areas. And so I get subjective input and objective input. And then we base a program. In fact, we don't even base our program on those test findings. That just tells us uh, where we kind of start. Then we go ahead and start doing our procedures. And I assume, and I, when I do a procedure, the child doesn't have a skill in that. But if I do a procedure, and he passes, and he passes, and he passes, and he passes real quickly, guess what? That skill that I'm or doing in that procedure isn't a problem. I go to another procedure. Oh, this is a struggle. Oh, this is a struggle. Then I know, no matter what the test showed, in a real life situation, I know what's tough. And I'll work on what's tough, all right? So remember, tests are sometimes one to three minutes long. And if I relied just on tests to determine what's wrong, I'd be making a mistake sometimes. So I'd rather see what he really does in a real life situation and work and plug in there and, and make sure I don't miss things that really need to be addressed. 